these are very nice clippers and when you look at the label here uh, you'll find that these are 12 watts 60 cycle 60 hertz 120 volts now what if you take these to europe for the price of about 15 to 20 dollars you can purchase one of the car adapters that will give you the local ac voltage so if you get it in canada in usa there'll be 120 on the output and the plug will be american and if you get it in europe you'll have european plug and the voltage will be 230 and the frequency for america will be 60 hertz and for europe 50 hertz so you have to go on amazon us amazon or us ebay uh, but you can get them inexpensively and use this one of these to have the supply voltage and frequency for your clippers now since i want to connect uh, the clippers uh, to test but also want to connect the voltmeter and frequency meter i'm going to use this little splitter power splitter and plug it in and then use it together now the label says that this is 100 watts ac 115 and 60 hertz as i'm testing the clippers i want to see the frequency and i want to see the voltage on the output and i supply that converter from a homemade adjustable power supply so we're going to test different voltages from 12 to 15 see the amps on the output and see what is going to happen now as soon as I turn it on, I started with higher voltage, 15.3 amps. The, the power consumption is 0.67 amps on the output and the little fan that cools the electronics kicked in. So this thing will be going on and off. It's actually compromised between the size and the power, so you have to have a little cooling fan inside. Now, the output voltage at this moment is 89 volts. It's well below 110 or 115, uh, but the frequency is 60. So I'm very happy with the stable frequency. Now, this is only 12 watts of power. I'm going to turn them on and see what happens to the voltage and the frequency. Okay, now this is running and the voltage jumped to 100. 14, 15, so it's perfect voltage, it's the, and the frequency hasn't moved, it hasn't changed, so uh, the frequency is actually perfect uh, for the purpose, for the work of the, these clippers. But what happens if I lower the voltage, because that contraption is supposed to work on 12 volts, but if I lower the voltage down, the output goes up and up and up and I don't want to go too high and now the clippers make horrible noise I'm going to turn them off just too high the voltage is way too high uh, for the clippers now notice that as soon as I turn off the 12 watts uh, load it went down to 200 uh, so uh, this thing is very heavily dependent on the output load if I would get something a little better quality if you can find something that actually holds the 115 110 volts and also holds the frequency but this is one way of doing it if you have US made clippers for 60 cycles per second 60 Hertz and you want to use them in Europe that's one simple way to do it just get some power supply but make some tests first but then you'll be able to get your 60 cycles for the working of the clippers now this is not going to be accurate enough for clocks for other like high precision uh, items uh, but it's for the clippers that's uh, more than good enough well thank you for watching give it thumbs up if you like it